Hey guys, it's Dr. Baron Bell and welcome to Concept Art for Comics, your one-stop shop for all things comic art and design. And today we're going to do a, a quick video about the process of creating our comic Dominion Fall of the House of Saul. By the way, if you haven't caught up, we're at uh, issue four that we're working on right now, uh, but you can get issues one through three in our collected trade on Amazon or on our website, www.terminusmedia.com. So today we're gonna to take a minute to just share with you the process of how we do our comics here at Terminus Media. Um, we have three specific programs that we use, Clip Studio Paint, Procreate, and Cinema 4D. We use those because over time we've determined that the best way to do our books is to maximize our workflow, create consistent design language through 3D modeling, and also the best art program for drawing and coloring our artwork. Those three programs kind of encompass everything. Our workflow goes in five basic steps. Pre-production, modeling, page layout, page refinement, and then finalizing. Pre-production is probably my favorite part of the process. This is where we take all of the ideas based on the script, do our thumbnail pages, and then create designs and concepts based on what's gonna show up in the book. This is where we then can translate everything into a way we can then make it reality. So the next step in the process is 3D modeling our assets based on our concept designs. And for our purposes, we love Cinema 4D. Any program can work for you if you like Blender, if you like 3D Studio Max or Maya. Um, but for our purposes, Cinema 4D is really cool because we're not all 3D modelers and it's really good for those who uh, don't have a whole lot of skill but uh, would like to create a 3D model. And so what we usually do is we take the file and Clip Studio Paint loves to uh, work with all, all sorts of uh, formats, but we really like FBX. So we'll take it, export it as an FBX. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do it again, but this is a way to then um, save it in a location where you can then retrieve it when you need it. So the next part of the process is the layout. This is where we bring in our pencils and our 3D models into Clip Studio Paint. And I tell you guys, this is where the magic happens. So you're gonna see here is my pencils uh, for a nice page layout. We can now then, and I've already done this, so I'm just gonna break it down just really quickly. We have our panels kind of defined as far as where they're laying out on the page. And guess what? My 3D models are present. And if you click on them, you can see that they're fully posable and you can then lay them out however you want. You can then kind of pose them. Uh, there's so much more to this that I just don't have time to get into, but I will uh, in uh, future videos on our Dominion Comics fan page where I do longer form instructional videos. But this is pretty much the next level of comic book design and the reason why we do these is uh, we want to have uh, visual reference for consistent design language and so whenever we can do that we will this is something that we haven't ever really done before but now that we are doing this this is kind of taking our process and making it much more streamlined by the way you can import by saying file import 3D data, you can look for your FBX file and then bring it right in. I would prefer to do everything in one program, but unfortunately, Clip Studio Paint, while it is an awesome program for page layout, for team management, and for just building a wonderful project for print purposes, it really doesn't do for me what I need with when it comes to drawing and when it comes to color. So that's why we use Procreate. We will then go into your Procreate, open that up, and then you're just basically taking that layer, 
that you've exported, taking the opacity down, and then just go to town with your ink line work. Now, the cool thing about using Procreate is that I have all of the brushes that I've used before. Now that I'm able to still have control, I just use what I've used. In this case, I'm actually experimenting with a new kind of brush in Procreate, which uh, uh, it's a kind of like an ink brush but it has a little texture to it. And I really want to kind of see how well that works with my style. And I think it, it works pretty well. I'm starting to fall in love with it actually. So once I have that, get those lines in and nice and clean and crisp, go back to Clip Studio. The last step in the process is finalizing in Clip Studio Paint. Once we've gotten everything finished, in procreate at this point we've only gotten the inks for this page done but i'll just show you anyway we're just going to go file import you find the image where you saved it i've already done it here so i'm not going to do it again but you can see and then you just break basically bring it in and it just literally rests on top of everything else so you see pretty much that's kind of the best process for us it, it makes things a whole lot faster our work time and our workflow is much more efficient as you see here we can have all of our team members check in you can know who did what and when and it just really makes for an awesome awesome workflow so that's it for today guys this is concept art for comics with dr bell we do longer form tutorials on our Dominion Comics fan page. So if you ever want to know more about Dominion, what we're doing, the process, we will be doing pretty much weekly updates and uh, just behind the scenes of how we produce our comics. You can also find out more information at www.terminusmedia.com and Dominion Volume 1 trade paperback is also for sale on Amazon. So be blessed, guys. Have an awesome day.